What it do, Motion Squad? How are you today? It's Sunday, bam. And today your girl will be cooking, um, I'm gonna do some spaghetti. Yeah, with some garlic herb, um, sauce, little ground beef up in that thing, smoked sausage. I'm probably gonna do some corn and then a salad and some garlic toast. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe. Make sure you do that. You know, help your girls out, whatever. Honest couple trying to make a living. That's what it is. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Pause it, okay? You need a cup for what, baby? I need a cup for this. If y'all ain't never had this, get you one of these. Mike's harder, not hard, harder strawberry pineapple this will change your life your whole entire life sorry guys and this is the other half of the ground meat that we used from the other day for the fiesta salad say budget minimize let me pause this thing right quick so she can do what she need to do okay guys so anyway i have put the ground meat in the pot in the pan frying pan of course that's got to get a little brown before you season it and yeah there's nothing wrong with great value guys it cooks the same way as long as you season it great value the babies need a sponsor so we're gonna let that water boil some more before we put this great value up in here but i'm gonna have it and then once this thing get the sizzling up, you know what I'm saying, Mike? Once they get the sizzling up and that water get the boiling, we about to tear some shit up in this kitchen. BG style. <laughs> Forgot to show you guys the ingredients. Of course, that's the ground meat. Water boiling. So you have the hunts, garlic and herb, and then I'm going to use a little tomato sauce too. And then of course my seasonings, great value. The Bailey's need a sponsor. Corn. Gonna season it, won't even taste like great value. And then we have our dressing for our salad. Yeah. Okay, so while I'm waiting on this beef to uh, sizzle up and get brown, how was your week? You know what I'm saying? How was your work week? You know, those of us that have jobs or those of us that are stay at home moms or those of us that just vacation or those of us that hustle. I hope your week was absolutely amazing. I hope this following week, um, Turns out to be greater than last week. Got anything on your mind, on your heart? Let it go. Pray about it. Let it go. Relax, relate, and release. And that's from BG. Yep. All right, guys. So I'm going to season. Got to use a little lemon pepper. Once I season it with it, I set it to the side because I will double dip. A little garlic powder. Yeah, a little seasoning salt that we are running low on, but it's enough. A tinch of Italian seasoning, just for a little sass. Bam. And then a little Cajun seasoning, not too much because I can't do too many spicy things. I have a hard time eating hot Cheetos, so we're gonna let that water boil. We're gonna let this meat finish cooking. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna break that spaghetti up, break it in half. Some people cook their spaghetti whole. I break it up, you know, because I ain't got time to be slurping on the long ass spaghetti, wrapping it around the fork. I'd rather for the shit to already be broke up, you know what I'm saying? So it don't be that hard to eat. Oh, yeah, and once again, I'll be using that uh, bouillon, 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 bon chang chong. Whatever the hell it is, after the ground meat, it gets a little bit more brown. Forgot to tell y'all about that one. Don't forget to clean as you go. Bam. All right, guys. It's about time to drain this grease. My water should be good and boiled. It's about three, four minutes later. I'm gonna drain this grease off of the ground beef. Make sure you grab it with a glove so it can get hot. 
hotter than hell. Hell is high. Hell is wide. Ain't got no bottom, ain't got no sides. So we're gonna drain that grease off. The fire's gonna spark up from the grease under the bottom of the pan. But it's okay, baby. And it's on me, baby. Gonna chop that beef up a little bit more. Not too small, because you don't want to be dealing with no niblets in your spaghetti. Not too big of a chunk. And there you have that. Then I'm going to add the bouillon to the center of it. The bottom of the pan. My wifey taught me that. Not gonna cover it up because when you cover it up, I don't know if you know, the meat tends to stay a little lighter when you cover it up. I want the ground meat to be a little dark, not burnt, but a little darker. So with the air flowing through, we're gonna let that do that. We're gonna take some spaghetti, which I'm probably gonna make a whole mess, popping it loose. Breaking it in half, like I just told you. I'm gonna break it in half, and drop it in the pot. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Waiting on that to brown some more with that bouillon, and then we have the spaghetti. And my plate over there for my spoon, so my spoon is not just sitting on the stove. And of course, your girl has her Pinot Grigio, you know what I'm saying, with my chef, Shior Shaniqua. Chef. Capital. <laughs> I'll take that cork out. My wife stuck it down in there real good. Yeah. Okay. I already have a little in the glass. I'll pour a little bit more. And then I am going to do a toast. This is to our subscribers. This is to our new subscribers. Old subscribers that's been rocking with us since day one. Our new subscribers. We truly appreciate you guys. We don't have a lot of subscribers. We're still low in numbers, but we do it because we love doing this. And the ones that we have, we love them, and I know they love us. So, cheers to you guys. Motion squad. All right, guys. Now that uh, everything else is simmering, these are Eckridge smoked sausage. We're going to cut these up because I also like to put Eckridge smoked sausage um, in my spaghetti. All right guys, so now that I have cut it up, um, I think I put too much because we already have ground beef, so I'm only gonna take that little half. And I'm gonna cut this up too. Then I'm going to fry it. Get it a nice light brown. And get that juice off of there and add it with that spaghetti. And now we have our ground beef. It's a, a nice brown color with the seasoning and by me leaving the top off of it so I didn't smother it. So a little grease in there too which I'm gonna drain that after I put this with the spaghetti. Spaghetti's been boiling a good four or five minutes which it should be done so I'm about to rinse them off. I do rinse my spaghetti to get the extra starch off once I finish it and then we shall be back. Yes. All right guys now like I said I'm about to drain the spaghetti. After I get my pot holder. You don't have to do this. I do this like I said to get the extra starch off because spaghetti makes a lot, a lot of starch. And I'm gonna do it in hot water so it doesn't cool off the spaghetti. Only for a second. I'm going to rinse off my spoon. I'm going to use that to block any spaghetti from coming out. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about first. See how the spaghetti has a lot of suds? Yeah, that's, um, that's starch. Alright, there we go. No, it's still for where you tore it up. 
All right, so I'm gonna turn you guys back around. Bear with me. Hold on, help is on the way. I'm gonna add this to my noodles. Get it a little red. Get a little saucy. Get a little wet. As I told you guys before, we like things juicy in this house. I'm gonna stir my spaghetti up. Put my tomato sauce in there. Just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more seasoning. It's only certain seasonings for the noodles. So they don't be bland along with the seasoning that's already in the ground beef. A little Italian seasoning just for the look. And show you guys what it looks like. So it's gonna look like that. And then after I add the ground beef, we'll go from there. So what I'm about to do now is add the ground beef. I'm gonna move it up to the top one. Turn that fire off. Gonna set that down. Gonna mix this ground beef up in the spaghetti. Probably best to use a fork. So it goes all the way through. So I have a fork. So, this is what we're working with. So you have your beef in there, and my wife laughing hysterically in the back. You got your beef in there. So now that the beef is added, I'm gonna flip you guys back around. All right, guys. Our acreage is nice and greasy and brown. That's up. So now that's good. You can always smell this kitchen. We're gonna turn the fire off, and I'll be back. All right. So now I'm gonna add the acreage to the spaghetti, the ground beef. It only takes a little. And this should last us for a few days because we can take for lunch. Because we tend not to eat things twice for dinner around here. Then this extra grease that I have from the pan, from the smoked sausage, I'm going to put on top of my spaghetti, just for flavor. Voila. Magic. And it's going to hear that sizzle. It's up. I'm going to move my spaghetti to the front so I can see what I'm working with. I'm going to show you guys. So there you have it. We're going to stir. It's kind of hard to vlog, guys. My wife normally would be doing it but she's doing her hair. So I'm gonna show you guys in just a second after I mix it up. All right guys, so next I'm gonna open up my hunts. If they had it in great value, we get it. But uh, always, in the words of uh, Mrs. Bailey, rinse your tops off. You never know whose fingertips and palms and hands have been on them. So now yeah, after they're rinsed. The work, hey, I can rat pee on it. All right, now, whew, I need a sip. Now that I've rinsed my tops off, I'm going to take my sauce. I'm going to drizzle it. One can at a time. And like I said, we like things juicy. So you, you have a little remainder in there. So we're going to put a little water. Swish it around. Get the access out. Then I'm going to stir this first can up. Got a bad shoulder, guys, so my stern is not as good as my wife's. Ooh, look at my baby hair. Yes, sir! Ain't no jiggaboos up in this motherfucker. Oh, sorry for your jiggaboos. 
Well, so I should have got three cans, baby. You know your wife. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys the one can. I normally get three cans, but this time I only got two. So that's what one can. Hopefully the second can will make it a little bit more juicier. We shall see. All right, now the second can. All right, guys, I have mixed it all up. There you have it. Yeah, it may look like a lot to y'all, which it is, but we take lunch, you know, for dinner. Then, you know, we do leftovers around here. I don't know about you guys. And then we like to feed people. You never know who's going to stop by. I have little cousins that be looking for home-cooked meals. Uh, you know, people that work going to be like, well, can you bring me some tomorrow? That's me. Um, now we're going to I put this fire on four. We're going to let that simmer. I have the back door cracked. And I'm going to cover it up. Bam. And there we have it. So you're going to let that simmer for a good, mm, I have it down pretty low. Um, this is like maybe an hour. It took like an hour to finish dinner, which I still have to do the corn and the garlic bread. But the vlogging kind of made me a little behind. But still, I've been cooking mm, 30, 45 minutes. Whatever. Um, so now we're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to top that thing off with some sharp cheddar cheese. Then I'm going to move on to the next project. Okay, guys. So our spaghetti is done cooking. Yes. Just wanted you guys to see it sizzling up. You see that? Yes, sir. We have spaghetti. We have garlic and herb sauce. We have uh, tomato sauce ground beef and the smoked sausage are hidden down not too much smoked sausage just supposed to be in every other bite but you can see it look at that yeah I saw all right our cheese oh. okay guys now we're gonna take our cheese and we're gonna shred it on top with our cheese shredder yeah gonna take a few seconds few minutes whatever the case may be but you want to get it all the way around and get it all, uh -oh. all the way around all the way around and then we're gonna stop drop keep it recording shut them down up and up shot oh then we're gonna spread this out we're gonna flip it over so we can have a little cheese down at the bottom. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we have simmered down and we are finished. We're gonna turn that fire off. Bam, there you have it. So the spaghetti, ground beef, garlic herb sauce, Eckert smoke sauces with the excess juice, and sharp cheddar cheese. Alright guys, because I'm vlogging, it has taken a little bit more time than I expected. But anyway, cheers for sticking in and watching. Now I'm about to do the great value corn. So the very first step, <laughs> we're going to turn the fire on. Different eye, different fire. I'm going to take this butter. I'm going to let it simmer in the pan, pot. I'm going to rinse my tops off again. Her Mrs. Bailey. Her Mrs. K. Bailey. Nothing better. I'm going to drain the juice off my corn. Off of both hands. We're going to let that butter melt. Nope. I'll bring you guys along so you can see. So we're going to let that butter melt. 
I'm turn that fire down a tad bit. Just a little bit to moisten the bottom of the pan, the pot. Then I'm going to take the corn, great value corn. Almost going to be like stir fry corn. Make sure you got every single kernel out. I'm going to take the second can. get every single kernel out. I'm going to stir it up. Get all the butter. Bad corn from the beginning. Gonna get rid of that. Alright guys, the butter is melted. I put seasoning in it. I normally sprinkle pepper on top. But since I don't have any pepper, I am going to go to my... <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so next for the garlic bread, we're going to set our stove to 425. I'm going to push start so it can preheat. Then we're moving on. Okay, and since I'm pressed for time, normally I melt my butter in the pan that I'm going to do the garlic bread in. Mm, but we're going to take this bowl. We're going to take some butter. Butter make it taste better. Butter make it taste better. And we're going to take this. I'm going to put it in the microwave for a few seconds. 10 seconds at the most. Because butter melts very, very fast. Just want it to soften up a little bit. Ten seconds may be too much. So we're gonna put it up for another ten seconds. It's a time and go thing with the butter. You gotta just kind of put it in there and play with it. Cause then it'll pop all over the microwave, and I don't feel like cleaning it right now. Put it up for another 10 seconds. Which is too much, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to stop it before then. Okay, Bam. And we are going to stir up our butter so it can go ahead and continue melting. But how many toasts you want? One? Then I'm going to take my butter. Then I'm going to pour in my pan. All over. Because we like things juicy around here. Like I said. Then we're going to take our garlic toast. My wife normally opens things up all pretty where it can close back up. But ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, you do got time for that. Um, we have our Texas garlic toast. I'm going to take it and I'm going to butter both sides with the butter that I just melted. I'm going to butter them buns. Alright guys, and while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get my sun out of the way. I'm going to turn the grill on. So I can prepare his steak. Of course, I'm going to rinse this steak off. It's only going to get a little piece because he's a little guy. And this is Make what it looks like boy. for him. Red meat. Happy and I'm going to simply place it there and let it simmer. I'm going to take his leftover steak and put him in the freezer. And then I'm gonna let that cook. And after these messages, we'll be right back. Listen, hold on. Uh, another break. <laughs> now, we'll be back. 
And for his steak, it only takes like uh, maybe like four minutes because I want to leave a little red in it, although it's brown on the outside. I want to leave a little red in it just just because, you know. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. So my son's food is done. I uh, chopped it up into little pieces. And those are his treats that he gets every now and again. And I'm about to give him a worm pill as well. Okay, guys, our toast, garlic toast, has been in here for maybe like mm, three minutes, four minutes. We're going to leave it in there for maybe three or four more minutes. Probably before then, but that's it. My bad, I forgot to tell you guys, you do flip it over, which I just did. Flip it over, let the other side brown, bam. Submotion squad. Look at my baby hair. Afro, don't touch my Hair. Mm. So today, Motion Squad, I am only making the salad and I am cheating with a salad bag. This is the cheat way. Cheat when you can. It's Sunday, okay? I had to take them braids down. I told y'all I was going to take them braids down and I took them nails off. Baby, listen, that's a struggle. What y'all thought my baby didn't have no hair? Yes! Turn around and smile for me, girl. Oh, yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Never mind the dishes in the dishwasher. I mean, in the sink. Uh -huh. The dishwasher is still dishwasher. full. This is what you call an old school dishwasher. And the person washing the dishes. Dishwasher. We're gonna cut up some tomatoes. Please wash our veggies. Please wash your veggies. Just like you wash them can types. Okay? Pesticides, all kind of Yeah, I know my wife like to do a uh, 20 minute segments. No, you do. Ooh. My vlogs be much shorter. <laughs> Some of y'all like cutting boards. Again, I'm old school. You put that in your hand, baby, slice that tomato up. But let me show y'all something. We absolutely do have a cutting board. Bam! So don't get the shit twisted. Nobody got time for me. We're just like old tongs. school. That's like using tongs when you fry food. There you go. You said that in the last vlog. Exactly. You don't need that. So we have the lettuce in there. Explain, baby. She's cutting up the tomatoes. That's just good, baby. Tom oh, you need the bacon bits. Let me get them for you. Ooh. Mind you, your girl has like had a whole bottle of wine. What? Me. I, I finished my wine, baby. I had a whole bottle of wine because oh, I worked no 70. I worked my 64 hours last week and then I had five hours, five and a half hours of a CPR class. Yes, I did. So I need that and tomorrow's my Monday again. <laughs> but it's her short week, so she just works Monday and Tuesday. So that, that will come back in a second. Breathe the youth. Oh my God. The Baileys need a sponsor. Yeah. Like my wife is doing a commercial for Great Value, y'all. Great Value is the brand to get. Wow. It does the same exact shit as Kraft or any other fancy brand. I don't give a damn about you, but give me that Great Value brand. Wow. Woo! That was tight. That was tight, baby. Yeah. Thing, baby. Give me some sugar on that one. Oh. Yes, sir. And she's sick, y'all minor. So if I be sick, y'all blame her. Come in and tell her you sick motherfucker. No, don't say that, cause you then you'll have me. And we do a lot of traveling, so I be done came to your state. But we love our subscribers. We absolutely do. Do you? Yeah, she us? only kissed me because y'all watching. She ain't kissed me the whole time I was sick. You damn skipping. You still sick. Oh. Guys, not to pan away from the missus, but there you have it. That garlic bread is done. Now, mind you, I like mine a little darker, but I'm going to settle for that. So, you got the garlic bread and the corn, the spaghettis. Woo! I need my big girl pants on. Mind you, guys, everything in the kitchen is done, but our floor, we have to get the floor done. ASAP, uh, yeah, we're going to go with the bathroom first, we're going to get the floor done first, yeah. So I have to peel the cucumber because my baby doesn't like the green part, the outer layers. 
So you're gonna put it off on me? Yes, all the vitamin is in this right here. This is where your vitamins are. It's in this. No, oh, that vitamin is in me. Oh, stop it right there. Don't you go no further. <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> okay. Let me get that up out that vitamin D. Let me get that up out With that vitamin P. Yes, yeah, yes. yes D. <laughs> we love you guys so much. Absolutely. We're, we're going to start doing, as soon as we make it a few more subscribers, because we want to get everybody a fair chance, we're about to start doing some giveaways, some gift cards, maybe even a <laughs> half of your payment on a vacation with us, because y'all know the Bailey's get out there. We do what we do. It's no bragging, no boasting. We're just saying, you know, we do a lot of simple well, stop things. Stop bragging and boasting. From cruises, to resorts, to Galveston, to the beach. To camping trips, to the zoo. Yeah, just about it. We have it. Just fiddle through the videos and find what you need. Um, My wife need is going to take me on a zoo date. Absolutely. She just don't know it. No, I will. And we need some sister wives. No, the fuck we don't. No, baby. Not like that. Like the ones that we can all get together and hang out with. We have our favorite no. subscriber. We have a favorite subscriber that we're going to do a date with, um, with her and her wife. Who is that? Tell them who it is, baby. You know who our favorite subscriber is. Okay, so now that that's done, so it's all nice and tossed. <laughs> I ain't even saying nothing. I'm going to sprinkle a little cheese. Sprinkle me, sprinkle me, sprinkle me, baby. Y'all know something about that E40 and what's her name, Sparkle? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's good. And we're going to sprinkle some bacon bits on top. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bacon bits. Mmm, delicious. And there you have it, Lotion Squad. 